Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session type 3 for the solutions of PDE. Just we have a quick recap. We are dealing with first order PDE and we have four different solutions complete, particular, general, and singular. In the previous sessions, we see that the first order PDE has five standard types. In this session, we are going to deal with type 3. Type 3 involves XPQ or YPQ or Z. Q. So, in this session, we are going to solve these three types in type 3. For this, we have to remember total differential which we learn in semester 1. Since Z is a function of X and Y, DZ can be rewritten as dou Z by dou X DX, dou Z by dou Y dy. But we know that dou z by dou x is p and dou z by dou y is q. So, I can write this as p dx plus q dy. So, using this total differential concept, we are going to solve and find the solution for our type 3 problems. Let us go into the session. Let us take an example p equal to 2qx. I will say this again. In exams, they will never mention type 1, type 2, type 3, nothing. You have to find by yourself. This problem consists of x, p, q. So, it is going to be type 3. And we are going to use total differential to solve this problem. So, let us consider the given PDE as equation 1. And we have to write this is of the form f of x, comma p, comma q equal to 0. So, since z is a function of x and y, I can write the total differential as dz is equal to dou z by dou x into dx plus dou z by dou y into dy. So, I can write dz is equal to p dx and q dy. Next, if your problem is x p q, you have to assume q as constant. If your problem is y p q, then you have to assume p as constant. This is the thing you have to remember student. Then the problem is simple. Since the problem has x p q, I am going to assume q is equal to a that is constant and I am going to substitute in 1 so that I can get the value of p. So, when I substitute q equal to a, I will be getting 2 a x. So, now we get both p and q. We have to substitute p and q in equation 2. So, we will be getting d z is equal to 2ax dx plus a dy. The problem is almost over. Now, if you integrate this, then we will get the complete solution. So, z is equal to 2ax square by 2 plus ax plus the arbitrary constant c. So, now I can cancel 2. Therefore, my complete solution is ax square plus ax plus c. It has two arbitrary constants that is a and c and we have two independent variables that is x and y. So, this is my complete solution. You can see the typed version. So, once the complete solution is over, we can easily see here dou z by dou c will become 1. But to find the singular solution, we know that z should be partially differentiated with the constant and we have dou z by dou a should be 0. Similarly, dou z by dou c should be 0. But when I differentiate the complete solution partially with respect to c, I get dou z by dou c is equal to 1. So, there is no singular solution. For type 1, we write there is no singular solution and type 3 also we can directly write there is no singular integral or singular solution. You can write it directly. Now, finally, we have to find general solution. That is also easy. Let us assume c equal to phi of a and remember this is not always phi of a. We can write some g of a whatever the notation you like. When I put c equal to phi of a in complete solution, we get z equal to ax square plus ay plus phi of a and we just write differentiating 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a from dou z by dou a and equation 4, we get the general solution. So, we do not want to find it. We can just write up to this. This is more than enough. Let us go into one more problem. So, root p plus root q is equal to root x. This is of the form x p q. Therefore, take the given PD as equation 1 and we have to write the total differential dz is equal to pdx plus qdy. Take it as equation 2. Since the problem involves x p q, I am going to take q as the constant a. When I substitute in equation 1, then we will get root p plus root a is equal to root x. So, root p is equal to root x minus root a. My p is going to be 
root x minus root a whole square. So we found both p and q. And simplifying this, we get x minus 2 into root a x plus a. Substituting p and q in equation 2 and integrating, we get the complete solution. Let us substitute this and we get dz. Now integrating on both sides, we get integral dz is equal to integral x minus 2 root a x plus a into dx plus a dy. And integration of x is x square by 2 minus 2 root a. Integration of root x is x power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus a x plus a y plus c. Simplifying this, we get z equal to x square by 2 minus 4 by 3 root a x power 3 by 2 plus a x plus a y plus c. It consists of two constants and since z is a function of x and y, it has two independent variables. Therefore, we declare this as the complete solution. Now, we can directly write there is no singular solution because dou z by dou c will become 1 which is contradicting the assumption for the singular solution that is dou z by dou c equal to 0. So, we can directly write there is no singular solution or singular integral. Both are correct. To find general solution, let us take c equal to phi of a, substitute here and we get equation 4. And we can write differentiating 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a between equation 4 and dou z by dou a, we get the general solution. Hope you understand students. I think there's two problems on x, p, q which give a clear picture about how to solve this type. Now let us go for y, p, q. So in y, p, q we are going to do the same thing. Total differential p, d, x plus q, d, y. The only thing is here we are going to assume p equal to a. So as I said if it is y, p, q assume p equal to a. If it is x, p, q assume q equal to a. This is the key idea students. So, let us go into the problem. The problem is p q equal to y. So, it is a function of y, p and q. So, let us take the given p d as equation 1 and then from the total differential we have d z is equal to p d x plus q d y. So, assume p equal to a and substitute in equation 1 we get a into q is equal to y. So, q is equal to y by a. So, we have both p and q and substitute in equation 2, we get dz is equal to a dx plus y by a dy. Integrating this, we get z is equal to ax plus 1 by a into y square by 2 plus arbitrary constant c. Simplifying this, we get the complete solution. So, take the complete solution as equation 3 and you can directly write there is no singular solution. You know the reason. I have explained all these things in the previous problems. So, there is no singular solution. Finally, as usual, put c equal to phi of a in equation 3, we get equation 4. Differentiating equation 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a between 4 and dou z by dou a, we get the general solution. You can write up to this. Now, let us do one more problem. q equal to py plus p square. So, this is of the form y p q. Now, let us take the given problem as equation 1 and write the total differential dz is equal to pdx plus qdy. Since it is ypq, I am going to assume p equal to a. Substituting in equation 1, we get q is equal to ay plus a square. Done. So, it is very direct. We have p and q. Now, substituting this p and q in equation 2, we have dz is equal to a dx plus a y plus a square dy. When you integrating this, we get z is equal to a x plus a y square by 2 plus a square y plus c. So, it involves only two constants that is a and then c. So, we say this as the complete solution. Now, we can see the typed version. Now, as usual, type 3 do not have singular solution. We can write there is no singular solution. And finally, put c equal to phi of a, same story. We get equation 4 and differentiating 4 partially with respect to a, eliminating a from equation 4 and its derivative, we get the general solution. 
hope you understand students let us go one more problem this is very easy i am not going to explain because we see the same problem in yak the only change is i am going to put p equal to a if we have y p q now we are going to integrate this and simplifying we get the solution why i am not explaining this problem the same problem we solved for f of x comma p comma q now we are solving for y comma p comma q as usual there is no singular integral then next we have to find the general solution by putting c equal to phi of a in complete solution and then differentiating for partial with respect to a and eliminating a we get the general solution hope you understand how to solve the problems on type 3 which involves x p q and y p q in the next section we will deal how to solve the problems with z p q thanks for watching Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.